This is one of the most powerful CPUs that you can get your hands on. This 9950X3D is AMD's super flagship processor. It has 16 cores and 32 threads and a big amount of the cache. But why should you care? Let's find out. The 9950X3D does not come with its own AMD stock cooler, but it is not surprising because if you are going to buy this processor, you will and definitely be required to get your own CPU cooler and PC. So this is it. I have the 9950X3D seated nicely inside the ASUS TUF BA50 Plus Wi-Fi with Typhoon Systems unique 240mm AIO. Yes, this is an MATX build because a gamer and creator does not necessarily need a full ATX machine to bring forth the power of this CPU. Other parts include 32 gigs of King Bank 6000MHz RAM, a 1TB Samsung SSD, a 13 hw power supply, kinda overkill but this is what I can find, a 120mm John's Bow fan for exhaust, and also a John's Bow D32 Pro to complete the build. And of course, you gotta go red with red. That's why we have this ASUS Prime RX 9070 XT to complement the 9950 X3D. If you want a PC similar to this, do hit up the guys at Typhoon Systems Asia. Anyway, besides having 16 cores and 32 threads, this CPU has a base clock of 4.3 GHz and it can boost up to 5.7 GHz. It also has a TDP of 170 watts and a whopping 144 MB of vCache, which definitely helps a lot in gaming. Okay, enough talk. Let's go to games. One of the best ways to showcase gaming performance for this CPU is on first-person shooters, especially on 1080p. On CS2, for example, I was able to get 316 to 317 FPS on average, with also an average of 159 for 1% loads. Granted, even though CS2 with much better graphics as compared to the previous CS Go, which means now the GPU has a bigger part, you will still be able to get super high frame rates with this powerful CPU when paired with something like this 9070 XT. The 9950X3D also performed really well in Rainbow Six Siege X. I could get about 470 FPS on 1080p high with 100% render scaling and also a really high 324 to 320 FPS on 1080p ultra. Like CS2, the GPU also plays a very significant part, but you are definitely guaranteed to get this super high FPS if you stick with 1080p for these first person shooters. So, how about single player AAA titles like Cyberpunk 2077? On 1080p high with no FSR or frame gen, this gaming PC gives you high 170 plus to 180 plus when driving down the streets, while maintaining also a high 150 to 160 FPS during the firefight. We also see similar performance on 1080p Ultra with 170 plus FPS while driving and 150 FPS during the shootout. I am also surprised to see that the 9950X3D also plays somewhat of a part on 4040p high. It is used 28-30% to while giving an average of high 130-140 to while driving and dips to about 110-120 to during the shootout. And the last game, Assassin's Creed Shadows. On 1080p high, you can see 115-120 to FPS while I was roaming around. AC Shadows is a very, very GPU bound game. 98 to 99% usage on the 9070 XT versus the 20% from the 9950X3D. The Assassin's Creed games have always been one of AMD's favorite series to showcase their gaming hardware, so it's nice to see almost 90 FPS even on 4040p with this set of AMD hardware. Okay, but the real reason you want to spend so much money on this CPU besides gaming is definitely for creation. And lucky me, I have this Core Ultra 9 285K to compare against. While these are all just benchmarks, it should give you a very good idea on what the 9950X3D can do for creation. The 9950X3D performs better than the 285K on Blender, with a 44 point gap between the two of them. The former also outperformed the latter greatly on V-Ray with a score of more than 47,000 versus the 285K's almost 40,500 score. However, the 9950X3D did not perform better than the 285K on Cinebench 2024. Although both the multi-core and single-core scores, especially a single-core, are actually pretty close. And the 9950X3D redeemed itself in Cinebench 2023, though not by a big amount in the multi-core test, and it still loses out in a single core test. But both CPUs are still very powerful and the 9950X3D did outperform the 285K in two and sort of half of this test.
And the last thing I would like to mention are the temperatures and the power usage. With the 240mm AIO, the 9950X 3D maintained about 68 degrees C on Rainbow 6 and 74 to 76 degrees C on Cyberpunk 2077. And when you push it with Cinebench R23, it runs at 82 to 83 degrees C. These are pretty okay temperatures considering that this is a 240mm AIO and also this class of Ryzen CPUs are made to run at such high temperatures. So don't worry about that. Power usage is also pretty okay too. 110 plus watts on shooters and 120 plus on Cyberpunk 2077. And also about 200 watts on Cinebench R23. Alright, this is a really quick rundown of this AMD Ryzen 9 9950X 3D. Thank you so much to AMD Singapore for providing this opportunity and for Tyvo Systems to provide this PC which I actually built it myself. <laughs> Let me know what you think of this CPU or you prefer something like the 9800X 3D. Like if you like this video, actually do like this video and catch you in the next video.